Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easily. So in today's video I will be teaching you guys how to insert an image into a web page in HTML. Now this is a continuation from my last video where I talked about some of the really basic concepts of HTML along with how to create your first Hello World program, how to add the title, how to add text in your main body, um, how to run that program in your browser. So if you're interested in knowing about any of these things i will link i will leave a link to that video in the description down below and also in the i button which should appear right now but for now let's get into this video okay so the first thing that you're going to need is your actual image you can download this from the internet you can upload this from your device your camera your phones etc an important thing to note is the location where you place your image and also the file type so my image of the yellow flower is located on my desktop and the type is a jpeg file this is important information to note when where you want to add the image in so the first thing I'm going to open my notepad and this is what I used in my last video as well since we're just going through some really basic stuff so um, everything in this file is what I've talked about in my previous video. So to modify this file to fit into today's topic, I'm just going to change the title to inserting an image. And this is the title that's going to appear in the tab of your browser. I'm also going to get rid of this hello world in the main body because this is where I want to add my image. But before we get on to doing that, I want to save my file first. So click on File on the top left hand corner. Click on Save As. And again, for starting off with the basics, I want to save my HTML file and also my image file in the same location um, just to make it easier to get the concept first. And then later on in this video, I will show you how to link your image if it's inside a, a different folder, how to link your HTML file to that. So we'll get to that later. But for now, let's name our file. I am just naming my file index. You can name your file anything you want, but important thing, you must have a .html extension like I talked about in my last video. You need this to this and you need this to distinguish that yes, it's a HTML file. So once you've added that in, click save. So as you can see, the index has appeared in my desktop and it's right beside my image file. So that should make it easier for us. Now let's get to the fun part. Let's get to adding in our image. I'm going to put in my image tag inside my main body. And this tag is basically something that distinguishes an image in a HTML file. Now, the thing you need to know is that it has two required attributes. And these attributes include source, which um, is SRC, and alt, which is the alternative. And I'll walk you through those now. So the source is basically going to tell the browser where to look when it's looking for that image. So I'm going to put in equals and quotation marks. And inside these quotation marks here is where the name of your image is actually going to go. So uh, the name of my image is yellow flower. I'm just going to put that in. Now, please be really, really, really careful with how you spell your image. It has to be the same. You can't misspell this. I can't put in a mess here or... Um, I can't put in an extra O. It's not going to work. Your browser is not going to be able to load your image. And this is a common mistake people always make at the beginning. So just to be extra careful, uh, you guys can just say your name is really complicated of your image. Right click on your image. Go down to rename. You can either rename this to something really simple or what I sometimes do is just right click, copy or control and C. And then paste it inside these quotations, control V or right click paste. And that's a nice way to make sure that you don't misspell your image. Now the next part, I need to know the file type. And like I showed you guys earlier, my file is a JPEG file, but you can just basically right click on your image again and then go down to properties. 
this shows this opens a new uh, window and it shows you that yellow flower properties it's a jpeg file and it's a dot jpeg extension please be really really careful if i put in a dot png beside my uh, name of my image here it's not going to load and that's another really common mistake people make so now i'm for sure that it is a dot jpeg file i'm going to close that and then put in dot jpeg at the end of my name now i'm going to save this file i can control s or click on file go down to save and the changes i made here are going to be automatically saved into this index file now like i showed you in my previous video to run this in your browser you just double click on your html file so as you can see my image has appeared in my web page it has a title of inserting an image just like i put that in the title here inside the main body i have my image of the yellow flower and it has, it's, it's showing up so that's the first part done I'm going to close that and then let's show you how to add in the alt or alternative. So the alt attribute, sorry, not tag, is really important because it's a good way if your image is not getting loaded into your browser, it will tell you the description you added inside here will be shown in your browser. So it tells people what you want it to be there. Make sure that's a that it's relative to what your image actually is. So I'm going to type in a yellow flower. Okay, so now um, to see if this actually works, I can either rename my image here or I'm just going to do it here because it's easier for me. I'm going to accidentally just say you misspelled the name, you put in an extra O. I'm going to click on save and then double click on this to run it. As you can see, um, my image is not getting loaded and it just says a yellow flower and that's the same description that we put in on our alt attribute. And this is because the browser is actually looking for an image that's spelled like this and it's not showing up. So it's just going to give you the alt description. So it's, it's good practice to put that in always. Okay guys, so before I end this video, I just want to show you how to uh, link the image to your HTML file if the image is inside a different folder. So first, let's just get rid of the extra O to put everything back into place. And now I'm going to create a new folder. So right click on your desktop, click on new, click on folder, and I'm going to name this folder image. Now. I'm going to leave my HTML file, my index.html on the desktop, but I'm going to drag my image yellow flower and put that inside the image folder. Now, if you're confused on how to link those together, it's actually really easy. But first, I want to show you what happens if I just click save and I run this file in the browser. See, so it's not showing this to you because it's looking on my desktop, the place where my file is, and it's looking for um, the yellow flower, but it can't see it, so it can't load it. Now, to do this, it's really simple. You just need to put in the name of your folder here. So my folder is called image. I'm going to put that in. And I need a forward slash to say that it's inside my image folder. My yellow flower is actually inside my image folder so i need to spell this correctly i found the images folder because there is no images folder on my desktop it's not going to work again you need to be really careful of the names and the file types and stuff so i just control s to save you can also just go into your file click save and run this in our browser again double click and as you can see, it has appeared because um, we linked it properly. So if you do have it inside a folder, uh, just make sure that you put in the name of your folder and you put in the forward slash to say that it's inside this folder. And that's how you do it. 
So that's it for today's video, you guys. I know this was a lot of information, but I hopefully you guys understood what I was talking about and you learned how to put that image into your web page in HTML. So until we code again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please feel free to leave any questions, any suggestions, any recommendations you guys may have in the in the comment section down below and I will get to them as soon as I can and I will see you in my next video. Bye!